Welcome to Nostalgia Hit. We're thrilled to kick off a brand new series where we'll be exploring the lives and careers of some of the biggest names of both film and television. From silent movies to the golden era of Hollywood and contemporary screen icons, we'll be spotlighting the most prominent figures to grace our movie theaters and television screens. In each video, we'll meticulously curate a list of 10 stars, giving you a brief bio of their life and career, concluding with their latest or final screen appearance. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for all the upcoming videos in the series. Barbara Bach was born on August 28, 1946, in Queens, New York City. She is now 77 years of age. Bach is an actress and former model who began her career as a successful fashion model, appearing on the covers of magazines like Vogue and Seventeen. Her acting career started in Italy in the late 1960s, and she is best known for playing the Bond girl Anya Masova in the 1977 James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me. Bach met her husband, former Beatles drummer Ringo Starr, on the set of the 1980 film Caveman, and they have been married since 1981. Her final screen role was in a 1986 comedy short, To the North of Kathmandu, where she played an elephant polo player. Bella Lugosi was born on October 20, 1882, in Lugos, Hungary, which is now Lugos, Romania. He died of a heart attack on August 16, 1956. He was 73 years of age. Lugosi was a renowned stage and film actor, best known for his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula. After a successful stage career in Hungary, Lugosi moved to the United States in 1920 and began working as a character actor in Hollywood. His big break came in 1927, when he starred as Dracula in the Broadway production, which led to him reprising the role in the 1931 film adaptation. Though Lugosi was typecast in horror roles for the rest of his career, his performance as Dracula cemented his status as a horror icon. Despite financial struggles and a decline in his career later in life, Lugosi's legacy as one of the most famous Dracula actors lives on. His final screen role was as Ghoul Man in the sci-fi horror film Plan 9 from Outer Space, which was posthumously released in 1957. Marilyn Monroe was born on June 1, 1926, in Los Angeles, California. She died from an apparent barbiturate overdose, which was ruled a probable suicide, on August 4, 1962. She was 36 years of age. Monroe was an iconic actress and model who endured a difficult childhood, spending time in 12 foster homes and an orphanage before marrying at age 16. She began modeling in the 1940s and transitioned to acting, signing a contract with 20th Century Fox in 1946 and taking the stage name Marilyn Monroe. She rose to fame as a blonde bombshell, starring in hit films like Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire, and The Seven-Year Itch. Despite her on-screen success, Monroe struggled with personal issues, including failed marriages to Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller and substance abuse problems. Monroe's vulnerability and iconic status have cemented her place as an enduring cultural icon from the golden age of Hollywood. Her final screen role was in a 1962 comedy film short, Something's Got to Give, where she played Ellen Arden. Bruce Lee was born on November 27, 1940 in San Francisco, California. He died from a cerebral edema on July 20, 1973. He was 32 years of age. Lee was a legendary martial artist, actor, film director, and philosopher. Born in America, he spent his childhood in Hong Kong before returning to the U.S. as a young adult. He found early success as an actor during the 1960s, starring in the TV series The Green Hornet. In the early 1970s, Lee became an international superstar through his starring roles in hit martial arts films like Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, and Enter the Dragon. Renowned for his lightning-fast fighting style and philosophical approach to martial arts, Lee founded his own hybrid martial art called Jeet Kune Do. Tragically, his promising career was cut short when he died suddenly in 1973. Lee's enduring legacy as a cultural icon and pioneering martial artist continues to influence action cinema and martial arts worldwide. Several of his works were released posthumously, including his unfinished film, Game of Death. Ginger Rogers was born on July 16, 1911, in Independence, Missouri. She died from a heart attack on April 25, 1995. She was 83 years of age. Rogers was an acclaimed actress, singer, and dancer who began her career as a child performer in vaudeville and on the Broadway stage before transitioning to films in the early 1930s. Rogers is best known for her on-screen partnership with Fred Astaire, starring together in a series of popular musical films like The Gay Divorcee, Top Hat, and The Barclays of Broadway. 
Though she was primarily typecast and light flirtatious roles, Rogers demonstrated her dramatic range by winning the Academy Award for Best Actress for her performance in the 1940 film Kitty Foyle. In addition to her successful film career, Rogers also appeared on Broadway and television later in life. She was honored with the Kennedy Center Honors in 1992 for her lifetime achievements in the performing arts. Her final screen role was in a 1987 episode of the romantic drama TV series Hotel, where she played Natalie Trent. Robert Downey Jr. was born on April 4, 1965, in Manhattan, New York City. He is now 58 years of age. Downey is an acclaimed actor, known for his versatile performances and turbulent personal life. He began acting as a child, making his screen debut at age 5 in his father's 1970 fantasy film, Pound. He rose to fame during the 1980s and 90s, earning two Oscar nominations along the way. However, Downey struggled with substance abuse issues for much of his career, leading to numerous arrests and stints in rehab. After hitting rock bottom in the early 2000s, Downey turned his life around and made a remarkable career comeback most notably starring as Tony Stark, Iron Man, in the hugely successful Marvel Cinematic Universe films. With a filmography spanning over five decades, Downey is considered one of the most talented and bankable actors in Hollywood, having recently bagged an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and a BAFTA for his portrayal of Louis Strauss in the 2023 epic biographical thriller film Oppenheimer. Kathy Moriarty was born on November 29, 1960, in the Bronx, New York City. She is now 63 years of age. Moriarty is an actress best known for her breakout role as Vicky LaMotta in the 1980 film Raging Bull, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. She had no prior acting experience when she was discovered at a bathing beauty contest and cast in the Martin Scorsese film opposite Robert De Niro. Despite her early success, Moriarty's career was interrupted by a near-fatal car accident in the 1980s, leading to a six-year hiatus from acting. She has since gone on to appear in a variety of character roles, often playing tough, acerbic women in films like Soap Dish, Patty Cakes, and TV shows such as City on a Hill and This Is Us. Now in her 60s, Moriarty continues to work steadily in both film and television and has several new projects on the horizon, including the 2024 biographical family drama film Saint Nick of Bethlehem, where she plays Betty. Charlie Chaplin was born on April 16, 1889, in London, England. He died at home after having a stroke in his sleep on December 25, 1977. He was 88 years of age. Chaplin was a legendary actor, filmmaker, and composer who rose to fame during the silent film era. Born to poverty-stricken vaudeville entertainers, Chaplin endured a difficult childhood, spending time in orphanages after his father abandoned the family. He began performing on stage as a child and made his film debut in 1914, quickly developing his iconic Little Tramp character known for his distinctive look and physical comedy. Chaplin went on to become one of the most famous and influential filmmakers of the 20th century, directing, producing, writing, and starring in classic silent films like The Gold Rush, City Lights, and Modern Times. Despite facing political persecution for his leftist views, Chaplin remained a towering figure in cinema, earning a special Academy Award in 1972 for his lifetime achievements. His final acting role was in the 1967 rom-com film A Countess from Hong Kong, where he played an old steward. Marlena Dietrich was born on December 27, 1901 in Berlin, Germany. She died of kidney failure on May 6, 1992. She was 90 years of age. Dietrich was a legendary actress and singer, known for her glamorous persona and androgynous style. She initially studied to be a concert violinist, before transitioning to acting in the 1920s. Her breakout role came in the 1930 film The Blue Angel, which led to a contract with Paramount Pictures and a move to Hollywood. Under the direction of Joseph von Sternberg, Dietrich cultivated a sultry, femme fatale image in films like Morocco, Shanghai Express, and The Scarlet Empress. During World War II, she renounced her German citizenship and became an American citizen. She even entertained the Allied troops in two extended tours. Dietrich was known for her humanitarian efforts during the war and received several honors in latter years. After the war, she continued acting in acclaimed films like A Foreign Affair and Witness for the Prosecution while also establishing a successful cabaret career. Her distinctive look and persona made her an enduring style icon, and she remained active in the entertainment industry until her final screen role in 1978, where she played Baroness von Semmering in the drama film Just a Gigolo. 
Clint Eastwood, was born on May 31, 1930, in San Francisco, California. He is now 93 years of age. Eastwood is an acclaimed actor, director, producer and composer who has had an illustrious career spanning more than six decades. After starring in over 200 episodes of the Western TV series Rawhide, Eastwood shot to international fame in the 1960s for his starring roles in Sergio Leone's Dollars trilogy of spaghetti westerns, as well as the popular Dirty Harry police procedural films in the 1970s and 80s, establishing himself as a cultural icon of rugged masculinity. Eastwood later transitioned to directing, helming acclaimed films like Unforgiven, Million Dollar Baby, and Letters from Iwo Jima, for which he won Academy Awards for Best Director and Best Picture. Known for his economical, understated acting style and his ability to seamlessly blend genres, Eastwood has remained an active and influential figure in Hollywood, continuing to direct and produce films well into his 90s. His remarkable longevity and versatility have cemented his status as one of the most respected and influential filmmakers of his generation. His most recent on-screen role was as Mike Milo in the 2021 drama film Cry Macho. Thanks for watching Nostalgia Hit. Please remember to subscribe for the next installment in this series, and also give the like button a hit if you enjoyed the video as it really helps the channel. Why not watch another video listed on the screen now? Until next time.